Hello everyone, EMT here and in this quick start video we're going over the Boom XD Pro system. At any time you can skip ahead using the chapter markers down below and in the description. Let's dive in. The Comica Boom XT Pro system comes in two different configurations. The D1 configuration includes a transmitter and a receiver, while the D2 configuration includes two transmitters and one receiver. The Comica Boom XT Pro is available in black color as well as white color. The Comica Boom XT Pro includes a carry case, one or two 3.5 millimeter lavalier microphones, wind muffs, 3.5 millimeter TRS to TRRS audio cable for smartphones, 3.5 millimeter TRS to TRS audio cable for cameras such as Canon, Nikon, etc. A 3.5 millimeter TRS to TRS audio cable with impedance for Sony, Panasonic, Fujifilm, and other cameras with high sensitivity. The package includes a 3-in-1 charging and output cable. The orange cable can be used for charging and transmitting data, and the black cables can only be used for charging. The package also includes a reset pin, a user manual, and a warranty card. On the right side of the transmitter, you will see a power button that is also a mute button, as well as the pairing button. On the left side of the transmitter, you will see the USB-C charging port, which also allows you to transfer audio recordings into a computer, as well as your record button. Each transmitter has a microphone located at the top, right next to the 3.5 millimeter microphone input. This gives you two ways of capturing audio, one with the built-in microphone or using the included lavalier microphones. Behind the transmitter, you will find a belt clip that also doubles as a culture mount. In order to power on, just simply press and hold the power button for about two to three seconds. And if at any given time you need to pair your transmitter to your receiver, simply long press on the pairing button on both devices. The transmitter has a large display that allows you to see the signal strength, whether your microphone is muted or unmuted, the pairing status, battery status, recording time, and which channel is connected as well as the microphone dynamic bar. Right below the pairing button, you will find a reset hole. On the event that your transmitter does not power on or crashes, insert a pin into the reset hole to reset it. All the functions are available when the screen is on, so if the screen is dim, simply press one of the buttons so it lights up and then make your selection. Now the Comica Boom XD Pro gives you multiple ways to capture audio. A brand new feature of this system is that it allows you to capture audio internally directly into the transmitter. Simply long press on the record button on the left side of your transmitter and you can see the length of your recording right on the transmitter's display. The Comica Boom XD Pro has 8 gigabytes of internal memory and it allows you to record for 24 hours. When recording continuously, a recording file will be saved every two hours. Once the 8GB memory is full, it will override your older recordings. You can transfer your audio recordings by simply plugging it directly into your computer using the USB-C cable. The Comica Boom XD Pro will simply show up like a USB drive, giving you the capability to drag and drop your files to your local storage. Now going over the receiver, you will find on the right side the power button, which also doubles as the mode button. And by pressing the mode button, you can cycle between mono recording, stereo recording, or safety mode. Mono is a single channel recording, while stereo allows you to use both transmitters and record left and right channels. Safety mode captures dual channel audio, one in normal volume, and a second one with minus six decibels, just in case you need to make any adjustments to your recording in post. Please note that the stereo function is not available while recording in safety mode. Also on the right side of the receiver is the output gain control. Simply press on the button of the channel that you're using in order to increase or decrease the volume of your recording. The receiver has a USB-C port on the left and over the top you can find a monitoring input for 3.5 millimeter headphones as well as a 3.5 millimeter output for TRS or TRRS 
inputs such as cameras, smartphones, or computers. The Comica Boom XD Pro also allows for digital output by connecting the receiver directly into your computer, smartphone, or tablet using the USB cables. When connecting to a computer, make sure you validate that the computer defaulted to the Comica Boom XD Pro by simply going into your audio input settings. The receiver also has a screen that allows you to see the modes you're in. You can see the battery status, as well as channel A or channel B microphone dynamic bar. This allows you to see how your audio is performing and make the necessary adjustments to the gain located on the right side of the receiver. And at the bottom, you can see the channel connection status. If one of the channels is not fully highlighted, simply go back and pair your transmitter by long pressing the pairing button. I hope this video helped you get started, and if you need any support, make sure you reach out directly to Comica via email. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us. We'll catch you on the next one.